Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, how to do this trick we call uh, quick release or quick reaction command for data elixir. I get asked this question a lot um, and I thought it was maybe probably best if I make a video explaining exactly what's going on and also to help I have a my gamepad or controller display so it's just a little bit easier to understand like what exactly is going on but basically uh, quick release it's just using RNG manipulation uh, during Data Luxor to complete his minigames, the reaction commands that he does, uh, pretty much instantly. And I'm just gonna like go over this briefly. I'm not really gonna go too in depth. Um, but first things first. Um, since this RNG manipulated, uh, ma mainly meaning that uh, we need the RNG to be like at a specific spot every time we do this. Um, what you need to do, and what is probably most important, is that you need to restart the game every time and go back to this screen. Uh, so you can do that either by like exiting the game, by closing the application and reloading it, or if you load up Cage 2, you press the back button and come back to this game selection screen, and that resets the RNG for the game. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to load my file. Um, so for this video, I'm doing this on my level 1 file with like really low stats. But you should be able to do this probably on like a normal critical mode file. I don't know if you could do it on beginner um, or standard. But for critical mode, this is pretty consistent. Um, so I'm going to load my file. And I guess I'll change some stuff. Uh, it's possible to do this with like this setup, but if you want to make it easy, you could equip Decisive Pumpkin and I don't know. Uh, whatever. But for this video, you, I'm going to have Decisive Pumpkin and you want to have Guard Break and then one combo plus equipped. So those are probably the most important abilities to have. So what's... Important that I just did there is that I went to the Garden of Assemblage without spawning any Heartless. That's very important. And what you want to do is you want to go straight into Axel. And then you want to Death Abuse here in a very specific way. So I'm going to dodge a few of his attacks. And then I'm going to uh, die. So I'm going to reflect this attack. And then die. So by doing all that, so loading up your file from a fresh start and then going to the Garden of Assemblage without spawning in Heartless, and then dying that specific way to Axel. That sets the RNG perfectly for doing quick release. So, before I start, um, this fight's gonna go really fast, but basically I'm gonna do a loop, and that's basically making him do the minigame over and over again. Um, the basic loop is three hits, into a guard break and a Thundaga finisher. That is the basic loop that you'll be doing. Um, and then after the Thundaga finisher, he should do the minigame every time. The only exception is after the first minigame. And when you do the loop for the first time, he'll do some card move. In that case, you want to do a triple reflect. But every other uh, loop you do, he should always do the minigame. But before I... Oh yeah, and I... And before I start, uh, for each of the mini games, uh, that the spot where the circles will be is also predetermined through RNG manipulation. And I guess I'll just say it now. Uh, but the spots will be uh, three, one, four, three, three, one. Um, but yeah, like, and to do the actual quick release uh, technique. Uh, you just basically press triangle and X the moment the RC appears. I kind of feel like I just explained a lot of stuff in like a few seconds, but hopefully it makes sense when I do this fight and when you rewatch the video. So he's gonna open up with the mini game, and the position for that is three. And then I'm gonna loop him. So guard break, Thundaga finisher, and then he's gonna attack. So do a triple reflect. You'll do the mini game, and that's one. Do the loop again, he'll do the minigame, and this should be four. Do the loop again, guard break, Thundaga finisher, he does the minigame, and it'll be three. 
Do the loop again. He does the mini game. This should be three again. Do the loop again. Guard break on dog finisher, and then this one should be one. And that should put him at his final DM. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is you want to make sure you have MP at all times. So make sure you throw an Ether or, in my case, a Mega Elixir when you can. And I guess another thing is that you can like sneak in a few thunders in between the mini games for extra damage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah. I don't know what else to say. I think that's pretty much how uh, this fight should go if the RNG is correct. Um, if for whatever reason, by the end of the last minigame, he goes underground, that just means that you were under damaged. Um, so if you were playing level 1 as well, and you had the same stats, but he went underground, uh, that would usually mean you're under damaged, and like to prevent that from happening, like having this similar setup with like decisive pumpkin and four shock charm pluses for the thunder boost might help. Um, you could also equip an extra combo plus. I think this should work as well, um, so that could also help in preventing him from not having enough damage. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I guess, oh yeah, I guess I can show you that I actually level 1 and have low stats. But yeah, uh, hopefully this video helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, I guess you can comment below and I can go more in depth about things. But yeah, hopefully this video is helpful.